So, uh, Backlash 2003 is the ultimate good news, bad news scenario. Um, the good news, John Cena makes his way to his first championship match. The bad news, your opponent's Brock Lesnar. But if you want the championship, you gotta try to climb the mountain. And I was really, really excited for that match. I think that was still where uh, my youthful enthusiasm got in the way of genuine perspective. But once again, when you're essentially a startup, everything is a win. Everything in that direction is a win. So it was really good to be able to have a championship match and be thought of as somebody who could start to be considered for that conversation. This is John Cena, one of those many young talents that's been working his way through the WWE system. The WWE graduating developmental class of 2002 is now looked back at as like, man, this was a gold rush of talent with names like Randy Orton, Dave Bautista, myself, Brock Lesnar. It's like, man, what you don't realize is that we were developing ourselves where the roster included Kurt Angle, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Undertaker, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, before the perspective and the environment of sports entertainment is very cutthroat. It is a very swimming with the sharks. So looking back on it, it's great. We all made it. We all made an impact. And I'm so grateful that all of us were able to contribute. It's always easy to tell the story 20 years later, but not one of us thought we were gonna make it. Brock being the exception. That loss really hurt, because I didn't know when I'd get another chance. I didn't know if I'd get another chance of becoming a WWE champion. You just, you never know in this business. Anything can happen in the WWE, that's a fact. It was a gut punch, but I had to accept that I'd done my best and I'd come up short. And I'd just have to try again later. If I got that opportunity again, I would do everything in my power to take advantage of it.
Thank <laughs> you. 